Hello, I hope you're doing well. Here are a couple of my no evidence runs on the new beta update, which includes the difficulty changes regarding the increased ghost speed during hunts, tweaks to hiding and more. I hope you enjoy them. Boom, let's go, Edgefield. Right, Who have we got this time? Take a look at the Carol Wilson. Power's in the garage. We'll go with the same strat. It's been working pretty well for me. Key? Got the key. Beautiful. Here it goes. Round seven, I believe, of no evidence. All clear. I'll scout the Ouija spots and we'll listen for things in the process. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to resist it though because I don't want to lose sanity unintentionally. We'll try and find the room legitimately first. Okay, so Ouija's behind the dining table, must remember. Let's try the basements while we're here. Try the basements. All clear. Yep, nothing has been thrown yet. Looks intact. We'll zoom up. We'll head upstairs. Actually, I never tried the living room. Try the living room on the way. Then we'll head up. Ah, did you hear that? That kind of sounds upstairs, but I'm not 100%. Let's have a look. Was that upstairs? It was indeed. The door's open. It sounds like we've actually got an active ghost. Makes a difference. Beautiful. I'm hoping it's this room and not the hallway. Because we had a hallway ghost earlier and it was not fun. Can you give me a sign? Carol? Beautiful. Now what did you throw? Was it in this room or was it just through the wall? Should we go look? Might be this room, you know. It was this room, yeah. Are you in this room, Carol? Freezing. Was that freezing? Or am I seeing things? It's freezing. Beautiful. Finally, we got freezing ghosts this time. Nice. Whatever they are, very active. Wait, is that something? I thought I saw something. I think it was a reflection. Right, no worries. Lovely. Let's get cracking. First thing I can do, I can rule out if it's a demon, or I can confirm a demon, using the Ouija board. We'll do that. Didn't even need the parabolic, actually. Leave you there. Right, let's go do the demon test. So, let's get the Ouija board by the front door. I'll check my sanity, and I'll ask it a successful question, and I'll see if I lose sanity. Then, if it's not a demon, we're down to five. Beautiful. Nice. Right, sanity is... Let's wait and get a proper average. Okay, <laughs> it's pretty much a hundred. 95 to 99, so 97. It's 97. Okay, let's hope it doesn't fail, fingers crossed. How old are you? Beautiful. What are you, 48? Okay, I was 97. Sanity is now. Okay, I lost about 10, so yeah, it's not a demon. Unfortunately, that would have been great, really quick. Next, I will do the test for the Wraith. Let them disturb salt, see if there's footsteps. I think you get the same answer that way, Tenebraeus. The ghost will tell you where it is at the moment, I believe. Regardless of how you phrase it. Wraith test. Okay, we'll wait for them to disturb the salt. Then we'll scan for footsteps. 
If it's working as intended, should be no footsteps. If it's a wraith. You have to listen for the stomps first though. They won't show at the moment. Need to be careful not to look at a door though, that could be um cheating. If I see fingerprints. Okay. Still no footsteps. Not heard the stomping though. Hmm. We'll try pile number three. Wait for that. Let's check for um footsteps in this room. Nope. Nope. Interesting. Ah, they've done number three. Still no footsteps. Wait. There you go. See, it took three salt piles to get the footsteps. So it's not a demon and it's not a wraith. We're down to Banshee, Yore, Phantom, or Mare. So I'm going to try the Phantom test. That's a very good way to do it. If they show themselves, take the photo. See if they appear in the photo. Sanity is pretty amazing. I have had the lights on, to be fair, though. What I might do, I'm thinking of moving up some smudgies. Um, make them more active. Might help to get the photo. Just in case they're a bit of a shy ghost again, we might need to give them a little kick up the backside to get them moving. Let's go get lighter and smudgies. Wait, I don't need you anymore. Actually, I'll leave it on because I might come down as an escape route. I might need to see where I'm going. We'll see. Let's get smudgies. Get a lighter. Beautiful. I'll come back for the other two smudgies as well. Yeah, smudgies make the ghosts more active. That's right. They repel ghosts during hunts. And they prevent hunts. Smudgies are, like, really useful. Probably my favourite item. Really good. Right. Let's get smudging. That should have done the trick. Yep. That did the trick. Can you show yourself? Can you give me a sign, Carol? Stand back here, get a good view of the room, just in case they manifest, like, in a corner. We'll see them then. Can you give me a sign, please? I'm very active. Could you give me a sign, please? Carol, can you show yourself? Could you give me a sign, please? Wow. Looks like the smudge stick's working. Smudge stick's doing its job. <laughs> Carol, show yourself. Give me a sign. Holy crap. I'm getting everything. Carol, give me a sign. <laughs> Just show yourself. I want to do the phantom test. Carol. You gone shy. She's gone a bit shy, bless her. Right, give me a sign. Perfect view of the room. Carol, give me a sign, please. Lots of Carols lately. You're right, aren't you? Yeah. I've been a lot of Carols. <laughs> oh, you ain't a phantom. Okay, we've ruled it down to three. It's now a mare, a Yure, or a Banshee. I love how um, I'm not having much luck today with my early tests. It's always like one of the last two or three that I always narrow it down to. <laughs> oh, thank you for the 110 bits, Cerebral. That's a lot of sanity drained. Could that be a Yure? What I could do... What I could do now... A mare should technically be able to hunt me now. If I'm in the dark. So let's go see if I get hunted soon. But if I get hunted from 50 or lower, it's probably Banshee or Yore. Because Banshees rarely use their power that lets them hunt early. 
Um, I feel like she might have done it already by now, if she was gonna. Let's go sit in the dark, see if we get a punt really soon. If so, I'm gonna call Mare. Let's get these lights off, let's make it extra dark, make it extra tempting for them. Right, give me a sign. Let's get a little escape route going as well, actually. Yeah, doing well, Venom. Hope you're doing good. That's my little escape route ready. Can you give me a sign, Carol? I am kind of hoping for a hunt, like, now, because then it would be pretty easy to know what it is. Hey, man, hope you're doing well. Carol, give me a sign. Could you give me a sign, please? Might as well get the photo. I'm just being extra careful not to get accidental fingerprint photos. Because that would ruin my challenge. Need to be careful. Carol, give me a sign. <laughs> well, that was a sign. Carol! I have to say, as an, as an early guess, I feel like my sanity was a little bit too low then when I went back to the truck. I might be leaning your way, because I feel like my sanity drained a lot after that manifestation. That's just my initial hunch, but um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Can you give me a sign, please? You're very busy. You're very busy today. Carol, do something. She did something. I reckon my sanity is probably 50 or lower. 50 or lower. So maybe it's not a mare. Let's go look. Hmm. Tricky. It, oh, if only it was one of the ones that was like glaringly obvious. I've had none today. Um, yeah, really low sanity. I've had no ghosts today where it's been glaringly obvious what they are from early tests. It's always been like down to the final two or three that I've narrowed it down to. They're not being nice to me today. They're making me work for it. Hmm. I'm still leaning your way. I am leaning your way based on my sanity. I genuinely think it's going to come down to a guess at this point, though. Um, I mean, Mare did... It, if it's a Mare, it didn't hunt me when it could have had the opportunity to hunt me early. Um... If it was a Banshee, it's not early hunted, so who knows. I think it's going to be a guess between Banshee and Yore, but I just feel like my sanity was a little bit too low, so maybe a Yore. That's what I'm thinking. I think we're just going to have to guess at this point. I genuinely don't think I can go back in and work out anything else at this point. Um, I think I'm going to guess Yore, and we'll, we'll just see what it is. It seems the most probable... Let's have a look. I'm going to call this one in. Let's find out. What were you, Carol? What were you? It was a Yore, so yes. I, I just felt my sanity was slightly too low. Just ever so slightly too low. I was kind of expecting it to be around 50 when I got to the truck then. But it was, a, it was more around 40. You just kind of get a feel of what your sanity should kind of be after playing for a while. So, yeah, good job I trusted my gut. Guys must be really picky to prefer doors over light switches. Well, they all have their preferences, don't they? What's wrong with doors? 
Okay, Thomas Moore. Right, here goes. Upstairs, the breaker. We'll head there first. Wait, the key. The key, the key, the key. Redeemed. Right, let's go, Thomas. Let's hope this is a bit more of an active ghost. <laughs> that last one was a little bit painful, wasn't it? Not the most fun mission. Boom. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I suppose. Here goes, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay. Where are you? Main bathroom? Maybe, upstairs, or main bedroom? Wait, master bedroom, I would imagine. Wait for it. Master bedroom. Really? Because I was in there and I, I did not hear a thing. <laughs> Are you sure you're in that room? You've done nothing. I don't like... Wait, chat. Did you hear that? I thought that was a footstep. I thought I heard a footstep. Wait for it. I heard an item. I think I heard an item. Chat, there's a draft of wind in here. It's a bit drafty. Is that what's causing all these noises that I'm hearing? We just got a bit of... That blew up by itself, I think. Hmm. Can you give me a sign? Drafty grafty, yeah. A little bit drafty, I think. I think that, that would explain it. I don't think there's a ghost. What if there's like a one in, one in a million chance of having no ghost? Oh, chat. It did something. It did something. It's alive. It's doing doors. <laughs> it only took 20 minutes. It only took 20 bloody minutes. <laughs> I mean, it could still be blamed by the draft, to be honest. I'm still not convinced as a ghost. Oh, what a mission. What do I even... You're kidding. Everything is happening now. I swear, like, the ghost has only just loaded into the mission. No joke. Like, come on. Th this can't be serious, surely? At least things are happening. Yeah, but how... How can there be nothing for 15... At least 15 minutes, and now everything is happening? Literally. It's like a switch has been flicked. Ghost has just got out of bed, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I just... I find this hard to believe. It's insane, isn't it? Oh. What on earth is suddenly happening? Oh my lord. Right, so it's not freezing. We know that. It's not freezing. Okay. Um, Ghost has worse load, load times than I do. <laughs> Oh, yeah, maybe they just got a shitty PC. It took them ages to load in, bless them. Right, I guess, again, I'm going to hope it's a Rev or a Jin so that I can just quickly ID it and get out. Because this ghost is doing nothing again. Not freezing yet. Oh, yeah, because they just loaded in. Of course. They only just loaded. They need a few more minutes to get freezing, don't they? I'm going to leave my flashlight so I can... Wait, I did already. Oh, beautiful then. Cool. Let me take every smudgy. We'll take all the smudgies. And we're going to pray it's a Rev. A Grafton Rev. Please. That would be perfect. That way I'll just know when I can leave. <laughs> oh, This might have to be the, the last no evidence mission of the day. I can't take two in a row where they, they do nothing. The first three were fun though. But I don't think I can keep this up. <laughs> Not if they're like this. Still will never pray for a rev. How about praying for me then to have a rev? Because I would love a rev right now. 
Oh, don't tell me that, Luigi. Well, it's not freezing, to be fair, so... Fingers crossed. Okay, let's go. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drain sanity, see if it's a rev or a gin. I think that's a good idea. I've got the Ouija as well, so yeah, I'm golden. We're golden. We got this. Honestly, even if it's a rev and it gets me, <clears throat> even if it's a rev and it gets me, I think that would be um, <clears throat> a good ending. At least we'll know what it is. <clears throat> right. I should probably get a flashlight. I should probably get a flashlight, shouldn't I? That might help. Yeah, let's go get a flashlight. Um, and what I might do, I might chill by the stairs so I can like try and make my way upstairs during the hunt. Get to that locker at the back. Okay, how close am I at the moment? Ooh. Not even close. Not even close. Oh, it's the candles. It's the candles, isn't it? Okay, let's poop some sanity, get a hunt, let the magic happen. What I might do, I'm gonna bring, actually, I'm gonna bring the Ouija out here. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, cheers for the raid, just case streams. Welcome in, raiders. Hope you're doing well. So let's bring the Ouija to the entrance. Then we'll see from a distance. How many people have you killed? Zero. Good, good. How old are you? Yeah, I am, thank you. Yeah, we're just doing some no evidence. But some of them are being very difficult because the ghosts are really shy. How old are you? Hope you had a good stream, though. 24. 24. Okay, how old are you? Just try and fail some questions. Yep. How old are you? Lovely. Right, do a hunt. Um, where's the... Ah, wait. The breaker. It was the breaker that went. How old are you? Might need to fail some more questions. How old are you? The one time I want to fail questions. How old are you? <laughs> oh, how old are you? Wait, why have I, um, why can I hear things here? Am I being followed again? Here goes. Okay, please be a revenant. Please. Wait, I need to get the breaker on. Um, I do need to get the breaker on. In case it's a gin. As well. Come on, ghost. Let's go. Come on, ghost. Pray for a revenant. Cross them fingers. They come in. Yep. What are you? Come here, mister. Get up here. Oh. Did he lose me? Really? There he is. Are you a rev? He's not a rev. Now he was normal speed. Um, could get the breaker on and see if he's a gin. That's what we could do. The breaker somehow turned itself off during that. Where was the breaker? Do you remember? Where was the break? Oh, the breaker's upstairs. Of course. Oh, gutted he wasn't a rep though. Oh yeah, it can't be a phantom. We don't have freezing. It's um, the non-freezing ghosts, this mission. That's the bone. Okay, let's try again with a breaker on. See if he's a gin. Oh, I got it on just in time. Beautiful. I need to see him from a big distance, though, to make this work. Ugh, all right. Not always possible. Come on, mister. 
Here he comes. This is quite a big distance. We'll try this. Let's see how fast he goes. Wait for it. If he's gonna come up. Are you coming up, mister? He's normal, I think. That was normal. Okay, so unfortunately it's it's gonna be difficult because he's doing nothing. We can do the spirit test, we can smudge the room and see when they next hunt afterwards. That's what I'm gonna do. Hey Brittany, hope you're doing well. No evidence is hard. It can be, Shav. When you get ghosts that don't do much, it's even worse. It's even harder. Like now. Okay, oh, I didn't make it. Gutted. Did not make it. And I've used my smudgy. Sad times. Sad times. If the spirit test fails, then, um... Might have to guess, because they're doing nothing. We could try and get them to throw items, see if it's an Oni. come up again. Dang it. It should end soon though. I should be alright. I won't make it back to the room though. It, it, I might just have the same again. <laughs> what just happened last time? Oh, am I gonna make it? 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 Need to get in and smudge them before the hunt could start. And then when I smudge them, I need to start a timer. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. You have to be near them when you smudge them, so it's it's tricky. Okay, 238.06 on Streamlabs. I mean, I'm assuming I'm near them as well. They could not be near me right now, so it might not count. This might not have counted. Fingers crossed it counted, because I did a big area then. All right, let's see when I ne next get hunted. If I get hunted within like just over 90 seconds, but before 180, then it's it can't be a spirit. If I get hunted after three minutes from smudging, then it probably is a spirit. I'm gonna go sit in the locker first though. Yeah, no chain hunt, I, I hope it counted. Based on the fact that, but that there is not another chain hunt, it should have counted. So 2.38.06 is when I started it. We're approaching a minute, 50 seconds. Did I throw that stuff in the bathroom? I didn't, no. So it's been a minute now. So if I get hunted in about, in about 30 seconds, it's not a spirit. It's a shade Pulte or Oni in that case. Wait for it. Two, three, eight, eight, six. Okay. Fifteen seconds. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that I don't get hunted for at least ninety seconds. Because okay, it's been ninety seconds around now. So please no hunt within the within the next ninety. Please no hunt, please. Because that'll make it easy for me. I'm watching that timer. I'm crossing my fingers. Do not hunt me. Okay, it's not a spirit. But that's based on the assumption that I smudged them. We're assuming that I actually smudged them when I was in the room. So it's a shade, Oni, or a poltergeist. So what I need to do... Is probably see how far they throw objects to see if it's an Oni. And put a lot of items together and see if they throw multiple at once. That could be a poltergeist. But both of those things aren't guaranteed to happen. Ok, 
Okay, I had to do that safety smudge because I thought it heard me talking in the locker. So um, I had to use that as a little safety smudge, just in case. Okay, I'm going to pill up because I don't need to get hunted anymore. Um, these are probably the trickiest three to identify now with no evidence. When you've got a ghost that is not very active, these three are tricky. So it might be a bit of a guessing game. Let me pill up. Could get some candles in the room to um, preserve a bit, bit of sanity, actually. Um, do, 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 do. Thomas Moore, it was. Okay, I think it's time to move in some items. And we'll see what they do. We'll look out for any unusual throws that could indicate an Oni. Um, if they do multiple items at the same time, that could mean a poltergeist. Assuming you smudged. I think we can assume I did smudge because it took over 90 seconds for it to hunt me again when I was well within chain hunting territory. So I think it's very safe to assume that that smudge stick counted, the one that I did in the room. But again, yeah, it, it's all assumptions. We're assuming. A lot of no evidence is making logical assumptions, which aren't always correct because a lot of the ghost behaviours um, blend into each other. So it's not always 100% possible to get it right. But you can kind of guess. It's like educated guessing. Oh, did you? Welcome in, Gluten. <laughs> here goes, here goes. Let's get a big pile of items and we'll see what happens. But I don't know which room they're most active in because they kind of wander between them. They kind of wander between them, don't they? Hey, Dursek, welcome in. Have they done more in the bathroom, do you think? Wait, stomp there, though. Let's have a look. Okay, something on the floor over there. It's difficult because... These rooms count as the same room. So you don't always know where they are or what they're doing. It makes it even more difficult <laughs> when I'm doing no evidence. Things are not on my side today. Right, let's... Now that was a light switch in this room, you see. So it's, it's going to be a guessing game. We're going to just have to guess. I might put items in here because I think they're easier to see when something happens. And it's kind of easier for me to escape the ghost room. So I'm going to put things in here, I think. It's far from the medicine cabinet. It was, but they could have thrown things more than once, couldn't they, to be fair? It could have thrown it on the floor and then thrown it, on the f thrown it again. Or maybe even an extra time. So it, by that logic, it could have got to the corner from multiple throws. You just you don't know unless you see it. Which is um, unfortunate that I wasn't around at the time. Okay, let's put some shoes in because, wait, isn't it interesting that they've not moved a shoe in this room, despite these three rooms counting as, like, one ghost room? Interesting. What they did do earlier, they did do the radio in this room, so they were over in this corner. They seem to be in this room in the bathroom, but not that little room. Hmm... But honestly, I genuinely think this is going to be a guessing game. J just like last mission. When you get a shy ghost, this is virtually impossible. I've done all the tests I can. I've ruled out three of them. Th well, I've ruled out nine, technically. We're down to three. Cool, cool. Get a few more bits in. We'll see what they do. Please do something. I could even smudge them. Try and make them more active. Doesn't always make a difference, but you can try. That's alright, Dursek, no problem. Hey, mister. Right, stop staring and throw some at. That would help me. Oh, he threw something. Not far, though. It was that, I believe. Let's see how far he throws things. Let me spread them out a little bit. Onis with their new bug fix should be able to throw things pretty damn far compared to other ghosts. They don't always do it though. It's like a random chance. Sink. What are you doing in the bathroom? I hate how these rooms are like one ghost room. It makes it difficult. 
Like when you're trying to look for ghost orbs and stuff like that. Can you give me a sign, please? Could you give me a sign, please? Oh, me too, Lenny. Me too. <laughs> the weather has been atrocious here lately. It's just so up and down. Yesterday was freezing. It was like a storm. Like wind and rain as well. You've had gorgeous sun, have you, Greenie? Bloody hell. Send some up here, please. Give me a sign. Can you give me a sign, please? Oh, look at that voodoo. <laughs> Got a little acrobat. Can you give me a sign, please? Might have to guess this. You had snow, did you, loving? Crazy. To be fair, where I am, we had hail a couple of days ago, so it must have been pretty damn cold. Yeah, I, I genuinely don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Because the ghost is so inactive, I think I'm going to have to guess. Which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. I've ruled it down to three, for certain. Let's try smudging, see if they get more active, as a last ditch effort. Fingers crossed. Can you give me a sign? Can you give me a sign, please? Had the full package today, sunny rain and hail in one afternoon. Sounds about right, doesn't it? <laughs> Sounds about right. I'm doing no evidence, Zegary, but I've got a very awkward ghost that is not making it easy for me. I've narrowed it down to what I think is Shade, Oni, or Postgeist. There you go! Beautiful. It happened. Thank you, Mr. Poltergeist. If the game is working as intended, that's the Poltergeist. Let's go find out if the game is actually working as intended. I say if it's working as intended because you can run into some bugs every now and then. Let's find out. What were you called? Thomas Moore. If you're a poltergeist, you were very boring. It was a poltergeist! There you go. That's one way to work out a palty. They can throw multiple items at once. Um, so get a big pile and you incentivize them to do it. So I did narrow it down to Oni, Shade and Palty. It just took a long time to get that last bit that I needed. Beautiful, beautiful.